to my channel. This is for Earth signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2019. We will start with Taurus. This is my third time doing your guys' reading. Hopefully the first time it cut out really bad. The second time it had absolutely no sound. So we're trying it again. Third time's a charm. So let's see here. One card for Taurus or two cards. All right, you deserve love and make the effort. One card for our guidance. This is guidance card for today. All right, fertility. It is a perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Make the effort you are being drawn to take because you deserve love. You could be in a situation that is not necessarily the best for you right now. So now is the perfect time as any to begin those new, new ideas, new conditions. All right, three cards for you, Taurus. And the person you are dealing with. Let's get these up out of the way. Who's Taurus dealing with today? Okay, bottom of your deck is the Three of Pentacles, clarified with the Ten of Swords and the Hermit. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, this is somebody, oh, and you're right under them, the Empress. So you could be dealing with somebody who possibly had a third party, because you do have the two threes, and then the ten and the eight. So this could have been a third party. This caused a lot of betrayal, a lot of feeling like you were like you were um, just left for dead. They stabbed you and walked away. Could be dealing with a Virgo that did this to you or um, after this third party was exposed, uh, making you feel this pain, you really went deep within and are trying to figure out what exactly happened. Um, but remember, you are lovable. You deserve the best. So you're experiencing some heartbreak right now um, stemming from the situation yeah I'm gonna actually pull clarifiers for you guys why is the three of swords here okay so judgment is in the reverse clarifying the three of swords so you could be feeling heartbroken because uh, a third party situation happened and now they're not uh, they're not necessarily giving you a second chance or they're not wanting to stay together um, you are strong though you are loving you're nurturing make sure you're loving and nurturing to yourself however Taurus you guys are such givers um, why is the Queen of Pentacles here you could be the breadwinner of the family as well uh, with all um, Oh, wow. I didn't realize what that was. Uh, you could be the breadwinner of the family, too. You're the one that makes all the income. It is being clarified with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So you're feeling like you're not... Uh, you're feeling very discouraged. You're feeling very heartbroken, very sad today. Um, remember that you can do this. You are coming to the end of the cycle with somebody, and that is the reason for the Tens. The Ten of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles is betrayal from a family member, a spouse, a long-term commitment. Um, and now it's come to the end and you need some, need to take some time to heal, to find your self confidence, to, to have some self, uh, oh, what is that called? Not respect. Well, that too, but because you are lovable, that's what your card is. You have, 
you need you need to know that you deserve more you deserve better you deserve somebody who's not going to uh, deliver the ten of swords and this heartbreak so um, yeah so uh, you are gonna find balance after look at that strength just popped out I didn't even ask for it but I'm gonna keep it because I think it's important Taurus you guys need to remember to have the courage and the strength to move forward to face the fear of uh, ending this cycle and possibly starting out again on your own you need to allow yourself to move forward towards something that you deserve to make the effort to move forward um, so you can create a new beginning with uh, with somebody who's going to treat you well um, and not deliver all these swords to your heart the person you are dealing with is a seven of Pentacles they need to um, they are uh, working on themselves they are planting the seeds their seeds of intention um, it is clarified by the lovers so they are the one that have the two uh, people you and somebody else with this third party they're going to choose to work and cultivate a relationship um, and this is really breaking your heart because I do see for this group of you they are choosing a third party they are walking away from you and moving forward why is the eight of cups here <coughs> yeah <laughs> with the three of swords is clarifying it so um, and I do have to say this is my third time doing this reading and I change decks and everything and these are the same cards that keep coming out so a lot of you are dealing with this they're walking away and it's gonna cause you some heartache it's gonna cause them some heartache they still care about you this is a uh, relationship that they invested a lot in as well as you but you're both emotionally exhausted and you're both um, ready to move forward <coughs> even though it's gonna break their heart they are gonna walk away or walk towards their more um, they're gonna start walking their more spiritual journey their more spiritual path they're gonna start focusing on themselves and um, and nurturing themselves after they set the after they allow this ending you have four all four tens are on the ground here um, this relationship the yeah and the hierophant is the bottom of the deck in reverse so this is the end of a cycle for you guys um, this is the end of an era but just remember to be strong to work on yourself to, to focus on yourself your healing because you have a lot of healing that needs to be done um, with these two cards that came out and you are experiencing a lot of sadness a lot of heartache so go within and and uh, find that inner light again find that reason to shine Taurus because you have a lot of good reasons um, to move forward and move on and into a relationship that will treat you that is meant for you all right and just remember you are lovable you deserve love all right let's move on to Virgos all right Virgos Oops. One card for Virgo for February 14th. Thank you. Careers and finances. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And your bottom of the deck is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play. So um, it's calling for you to focus on your finances. To um, You could be holding back moving forward in um, in any situation in your life um, but most importantly love or that's what I'm focusing on with it being there we go Valentine's Day okay your bottom of the deck is past life your situation involves a past life relationship and then you have divine timing worth waiting for so you definitely have a soulmate in the wings purification it's time for cleansing and detoxification of your mind and body Virgo clean out those thoughts those emotions those uh, anything in your body that is not good for you if you're drinking um, use recreational drugs anything that is in your body and is not meant to it's time to 
purify and cleanse. Um, the 19th is a full moon, beautiful time to do a release ritual, cleanse all that energy that is blocking you and um, your person from coming in because uh, you do have divine timing there at the bottom of your deck. All right. Let's see what our Virgos have for Valentine's Day. Okay, Virgos. Three cards for you. The star, beautiful. Ooh, another flipper in there. You got the star and the six of pentacles in reverse. And the eight of cups. The person you are dealing with. The Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands in reverse, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Virgos, are you dealing with a Taurus? You both have the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so Virgos, um, a time of healing is for you as well. Um, you could be walking away from a situation. Actually, you are walking away from a situation that you're going to need to take time to heal from. On the bottom of your uh, angel deck was divine timing. The star for me is also divine timing. So um, it's at work in your love life right now, but you have to take the steps that you're guided to take as well. Your finances could be blocking this person from coming in from re for you right now. They could also be um, keeping you from moving forward and moving on from a situation you're currently in, whether that be work, uh, work, money, or your career. Um, it is clarified by the Ten of Wands. So you got to let the heaviness, the burdens, you got to let all the weight of the world off your shoulders. It's not yours to carry. So anything that is weighing you down, it's time to release it. It's time to heal from it. The time is now. And um, so you can clear that energy and get that new beginning. Uh, you have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, so you're not you're out of balance right now. Which, when you begin that healing process, you will. Uh, <laughs> clarified by the Hermit. When you begin that healing process, you will come back into balance. It's out of balance because you did have a third party situation for a lot of you. Now that doesn't always mean a lover. That could be work. That could be family. That could be a friend. Um, but someone was in your relationship that shouldn't have been. Um, when you end that third party situation or if you already have well the bottom of the deck is seven of swords so more than likely it was a lover um but it's time to go within it's time to find your own inner light again and follow it listen to your intuition follow that little voice in your head that gut feeling and it will lead you to the star it will lead you to enlightenment and it will lead you to balance I do see you doing that. You are heading out on your spiritual path, your spiritual journey. You are going to move forward in search of your two of cups. And um, you will decide to do that in the, in the time of the hermit there. And the time of healing from this ten of wands situation. Why is eight of cups here? Thank you. The queen of cups. So yeah, you're moving out, moving forward moving on from a situation that you were emotionally um, spent from. You invested a lot into this relationship and it just is not working out. You are following your heart. You are um, setting out in search of that two of cups that you want in your life. The person you're dealing with, they have a new beginning, a new idea, a spark, a thought. Um, yeah, in regards to you with a knight of pentacles, um, they're slowly cultivating this idea, um, and they are going to move forward towards that uh, that situation. The Four of Wands is here in reverse for them. Uh, this is a lack of stability within your guys' relationship. Uh, this could be the ending of your guys' relationship. Thank you. Yep. Wow. Okay, so you got Illumination and the World. So this is the ending of 
a four of wands relationship with the two of you. This is things are being um, enlightened for them. Illumination is the sun. Things are being shown to them that have happened in the past with this third party energy, um, the sharing of this energy, and it is going to close the door for this person. They are going to move forward and away from a situation that was um, emotionally draining on them as well. Oh, and there's the seven of swords clarifying the ten of cups. So yeah, there's some deceit here between the two of you. Um, and they are going to allow that cycle to end with the world here. Um, let's get some outcome cards. Where is this heading for Virgos? Yeah. So um, you are going to, Virgo, cut yourself out of a family situation. This situation is just no longer um, what you need, what you want, um, and you are going to lay that burden down. The cycle is going to end. This is the end of an era. It's time to focus on your finances right now and not so much on love. It's time to purify your energy so what's meant for you will come in for you because let's not forget you do have a soulmate on the way um, with divine timing um, and worth waiting for. Uh, so focus on your career, focus on your finances so you can end this situation that you feel stuck in. So you can lay down this burden, begin this healing process and allow that divine partner to come in for you or for you to go to them. All right, let's go to Capricorn. Capricorn, for you guys, I will be using the Tarot of Illuminati. Uh, Virgos, I did use the uh, Crystal Visions for you. And Taurus, you guys were the Morgan Greer. And I swear to God, on all three readings that I've done, you guys have all had the same cards in different spots. And we're starting out no different with Capricorn here. <laughs> Who's Capricorn dealing with? So Capricorn, yours was the best out of the three so far every time, but I'm not seeing that this time. All right. I don't know what's going on with you earth signs, but holy smokes. Holy smokes. All right. Bottom of the deck. Look at you. Single. Focusing on yourself. Investing in yourself, in your education, in your career. Um, this is coming to you after an awakening, after a time in the hermit. You decided F this noise, and I'm going within. I'm going to go focus on myself. And um, you found that after walking away from an emotional, uh, toxic relationship yourself. Let's see what the angels have for your theme of the reading. That was quick. Ooh, honeymoon. All right. And start delegating. Okay. So with honeymoon, this is just getting away from the world, taking some time and enjoying some time off. This is getting away from everybody, uh, which you did, um, and you could possibly be meeting new love on a honey, like on a break, a vacation. Um, so, if you are planning on taking time off, most definitely do it because you could meet the person of your dreams on a trip, um, and ask others to help instead of trying to do everything yourself. It's okay, Capricorn, not to have to do everything. Ask for help and take some time away. Take a small vacation. Get away from all this energy and focus on you. You deserve this and um, because you're going through a massive spiritual awakening. For you Capricorns that this is resonating with, you need some time away. You are having an energy overload. This is an awakening, but you are going to come back refreshed, beautiful, and ready to rock the world because you have to get over some heartache, some betrayal, some deceit. Somebody stabbed you in the freaking back and left you for dead. They said they would be back and you're still waiting on them, still waiting for them to come forward. Um, like I said, when you quit moving towards them and focus your energy on yourself, you will find somebody in this time. Even if you don't, take a vacation. This is just getting away from the workplace, getting away from your friends, getting away from your family, 
just going for a walk in the park or <coughs> excuse me <coughs> going to a new place to eat and just running into new people that's going to bring you in this love I do apologize for my cold and my sniffling I've had this horrible cold for about a week now why is this ten of swords here thank you the nine of swords why is the prince of pentacles thank you and the prince of cups okay so you ha you've been stressing out and overthinking this and allowing all these negative thoughts to um, unpack their bags in your mind and just ruminate there time to let it go time to quit stressing out over this betrayal over this heartache and this hurt they were not worth it they're still not worth it allow it to go let it go Capricorns um, this person isn't moving towards you causing you to wait hurry up and wait sit here and wait no movement stagnation you're just waiting um, yeah you're just you it's like you look at this in there in the card he's drowning and the fish are eating him so like I was saying they it's like they stabbed you and left you for dead and and they're just leaving you hang they're not answering your questions they're not answering anything um, but allow that to go in this time of wait for you you have been enlightened to a new path to new opportunities to um, to a new sense of self that's going to lead you to doors opening that you never even imagined Someone is going to come in and offer um, love to you. This is um, going to kind of put you back on track. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles representing you. So I do see somebody coming and offering you love. You're just doing your own thing, getting your finances in order, doing whatever it is, uh, not worrying about love. And that's when it's going to come knocking at your door. You are hesitant, however, because of this past betrayal, this past hurt. Um, and you're still in this awakening phase with the Hermit, the Eight of Cups, and now the Hangman. The person you're dealing with, um, they have a lot of weight on their shoulder. They have a lot of things going on in their life. Um, a lot of things that they're carrying the burden for that they shouldn't be. Um, this could be a relationship that they want out of. Um, and that's what uh, betrayed you. You could have been the third party to this person. And they're not laying down that other relationship, that, that spouse. And you've been stressing over this for how long? And you really feel betrayed that they even went back to this person. I do feel they were with you at one point in time. And then they left and went back to a spouse. And they told you they were going to leave this person. And they haven't yet. Why is the Ten of Wands here in reverse? Thank you. Yeah, with the King of Pentacles in reverse. So they're not leaving this situation because they're unstable financially, emotionally. They, they're codependent on the other person. So they're scared to leave. They're scared to uh, throw caution to the wind and go with you because this person has been taking care of them financially. They're not really taking care of them, but uh, they're, they're financially dependent upon them um, as well as emotionally uh, I hate to say it, but it's like this person can kind of do what they want and get away with it, and this person's just going to let it happen, or the person that they're connected to, like they can go out and cheat and come back, and they're going to take them back, um, because the Seven of Swords card is here, and that's the only reason why I say that, so if you're a cross watcher, I'm sorry, but yeah, the Seven of Swords is here with the Star card, so they need to find some balance, they need to find some healing around some cheating that had happened. Um, between the two of you uh, or between them and their other person they are still in this loveless relationship though with the ten of cups they're still not moving away with the pin clarify the ten of wands and that just shot out of there uh, bottom of the deck is hermit so they need to go within um, this is their burden guys they're in a loveless relationship this is the burden that they're not laying down they're in a relationship where there's no love there, but they don't have the courage to move forward. They don't have the courage. They're, they haven't been enlightened or awakened enough to know that you are who they're meant to be with. Um, and they have to lay this down. And I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing is for this group of you, when you move forward with somebody else, when you find your sense of self again, when you are looking this fabulous and someone comes in and offers you love, and you get on that horse and move to, in their direction that's going to push this person into leaving that other person out of fear of leaving you or losing you 
they think that you're not ever going to go, that you're going to wait forever for them or something. With the outcome. Okay, so um, bottom of the deck is the world card. So endings of cycles, um, allowing this old relationship to end. Cut it off here. Allow that cycle to end because even if you get back together with this person, Capricorn, you can't until this past relationship has ended with them. You have to allow that door to close. You have to allow the past relationship because when the two of you come back together again, it's not going to be the same relationship. You're both going to be changed, transformed um, into a more spiritual self, into a better self. So allow this person, this, this negative energy, everything that went with this relationship, allow it to end with that world card. Forgive this person for any hurt they caused you. Forgive them for this Ten of Swords. And then that is when they can come back. But I'm I'm telling you for the, what I'm seeing for this group of you that this is resonating with. When you move forward with somebody else that's offering you love, that's what's going to kick these guys into gear and leave this loveless relationship and this Ten of Wands that um, and this Ten of Cups in reverse. That's going to cause them to move forward instead of cheating on their person that they don't love anymore it's going to cause them to end the relationship in a proper way and to stop creating bad karma for themselves and for you um, with your outcome cards you have the eight of swords you almost feel trapped in this situation by them but you're not Capricorn move forward cut yourself out of this energy you have the eight nine and ten of swords um, you are not stuck by this move forward and uh, and know that you don't have to continue to nurture this relationship that is not nurturing you back. You're drained. You're exhausted. You're finding out things about this person and their other relationship that is causing a lot of hurt. Um, with this Ten of Wands, allow it to end. Allow it to close. Know that you don't have to keep nurturing this relationship for it to come back into fruition. It's got to end in the correct way, though. They have to end this negative situation where instead of putting down the relationship they cheat on this person that that they don't necessarily want to be together with uh, I'll put that to a stop and that's when this person is going to move forward um, this person could ask you to go on a little weekend trip together um, but for a lot of you this is that knight of cups you're gonna meet somebody um, when you're just out and about taking some time to yourself nurturing yourself and uh, allowing your batteries to recharge so allow other people to help you you don't have to take the weight of this all by yourself release it let it go and what's meant for you will come in for you Capricorns alright have a beautiful day guys thank you for joining me I love you God bless